We're with the Sens forward Oscar Pedersen as uh, we continue with our exit interviews for 23-24. Thanks for taking a few minutes. Thanks for having me. Uh, big travel day for you. Are you headed home today? Heading home tomorrow, okay. uh, tomorrow night, uh, 9 p.m. So a direct flight to Copenhagen and then just a short drive from there to to my hometown in Sweden. So uh, not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's all right then. Um, so you got a little bit of time, I guess. You're not one of the guys racing off today. Um, again, you joined the team here uh about halfway through the season or so, maybe a little bit past, uh, play almost 30 games in the AHL. How did you feel about um, your season overall and uh, and making that transition to North America? Uh, yeah, obviously a little bit of a weird situation. Uh, the plan wasn't to, to come over uh, halfway through the season, obviously. Uh plan was to play the whole year in Sweden, but uh, yeah, things uh, changed it and... Uh, I'm just happy that, uh, that both me and uh, the organization uh, made a made a decision to to come over here. Uh, really been enjoying my time here. I think I developed as a player uh, throughout those uh, 30 games, and uh, yeah, just uh, a really good feeling of uh, of uh, knowing the North American play style and all that a little bit better uh, coming into next year. Yeah, I, I was going to ask about the adjustment um, to North America. I guess both on the ice and off. Uh, that's a pretty big change for for a guy your age to move continents uh, halfway across the world and and to just kind of embed yourself in in a new community, a new team. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous uh, before I came over, obviously, but uh, everything's been been beyond my expectations to be honest uh, I really enjoyed uh, the type of playing here I think it suits my play style uh, very well uh, the guy's been awesome in the team uh, I don't think I've been a part of such a fun team uh, before this to be honest we've had so much fun during my period here too uh, and yeah uh, as I mentioned I just enjoyed pretty much everything so so it was a great time here Chatting with the sense forward Oscar Pedersen. That's um, something we've heard from a lot of the guys we've talked to today, just about how close knit this team was um, all season long. But for a guy like yourself, you know, coming into an unfamiliar environment, uh, how important was that kind of, um, I guess, attitude and, and feel around the team in terms of, of you getting comfortable and, and working yourself in? Oh, I think it means everything, to be honest. Uh, I remember the, the day I arrived and, and uh, when the guys uh, got to know that I was coming here, I think like four or five guys reached out to me straight away, uh, especially Lars has been a huge impact for me and just helped, helped me out with everything, took care of me. Uh, yeah, a little bit extra, obviously. In the, in the beginning, uh, showed me around, took me to the rink, took me on dinners and stuff like that. So it, it means the world to me, and, and it made uh, <coughs> the transition way much easier. Yeah, how did you find living in, in Belleville and, and the Bay of Quinty area um, for, for the last few months? Really enjoyed it. We had some, some nice sunny days, so especially when the weather showed up, it was it was great, you know, but just be able to go out on the county. Uh, been there uh, multiple times, uh, visiting some nice restaurants and all that. And uh, just overall, I think we had a great team that really wanted to hang out uh, off the rink too. So yeah. so we had a lot of fun. And um, for me, living in a house with Levy, uh, Betsy, and now Reeser, the last uh, part two was great. We, we've we been pretty much hanging out the whole time. Uh, and I think we did a good job of actually like doing stuff uh, off ice too, which I think it's important. Yeah, and keeping the house uh, in order, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. That's my job. <laughs> um, uh, looking ahead, um, you know, you're one of the handful of guys that will be in the organization next year um, how uh, how does that maybe change or does it change your off-season preparations at all just kind of you know knowing uh, what's coming next season rather than heading into this year where you you maybe weren't as sure yeah I don't know I've always been knowing what I'm doing uh, I've never been uh, like a free agent or anything throughout my uh, short period of uh, professional career so far uh, so I don't know if it changes anything the biggest change for me is probably that uh, over the last years in Sweden, we usually work out with the team mm -hmm. uh, by the summers too. Uh, so this is going to be my first summer uh, just working out by myself, uh, which I actually think it's going to be great. I'm I'm uh, super excited for that. I think it's going to be way much more individual. Uh, Felt sometimes that when you work out with a team, it's not as individual as you want to. Sure. Uh, so I'm very excited actually to ha to have my own summer, if you could say that, uh, and just focus on myself. I know I know uh, what I need to work on. I know what I need to get better at. So I'm just excited to to put the work in. Yeah. Where are you hoping to maybe make some uh, bigger strides in your game over the summer? Uh, for me, I think it's. Uh, I mean, first of all, just keep adjusting to the North American style of play. You know, uh, the wall battles. That's that's a new thing. 
not a new thing for me, but it's a bigger impact on the game here. Sure. Uh, so obviously keep working on that. And then for me, it's been, uh, I've been working a lot of my skating ever since I got drafted here with Ottawa. I've been working uh, very much with Shelly. Uh, so we're staying in contact to contact throughout the whole summer working on that uh, so just trying to be a little bit faster in those uh, first strides i think that's a huge part of the game over here since it's um, it's a smaller ice surface and then uh, keep uh, keep taking uh, strides in my offensive game i uh, hope to bring some more offense uh, next year uh, score some more goals uh, like love to shoot a puck and be a goal scorer so i just going to keep on working with uh, with that uh, we'll take a couple more minutes here with Oscar Pedersen. Uh, you didn't get to play in the playoffs, uh, but you were around this team for, for the whole time. Um, what was the experience like of at least being still a part of, of what was too short of a run, but uh, uh, one that was historic for this team nonetheless? Uh, no, it was great. Obviously, it sucks to uh, not be playing, and, yeah. and I wish that I played, but uh, I think it's... Uh, you just love to be around the environment that uh, that gets created in the playoffs. Uh, I, I remember it was the same thing last year for me when I played uh, my first uh, professional playoffs back home in SHL. And uh, it's just that environment and that feeling uh, around the team, you know. Uh, everything gets so much important. Um, every single little detail that... I, I wouldn't say that no one cares, uh, not cares about it uh, mid-season, but I mean, just everyone cares so much more about those small plays, and I think you get credit for uh, for it even more, uh, yeah. which makes everyone want to do it even more. Uh, so I just think it's it's great to be around that environment, and yeah, obviously didn't play this year, but. Um, still learn a lot uh, and uh, yeah just take that with me for for the upcoming years and uh, again the bar has been set for next year so you'll be ready to go come the playoffs next year oh yeah oh yeah, yeah i'm ready <laughs> what else uh, what does the rest of the summer look like for you aside from from the training uh coming home now take a, take a couple of yeah a couple of uh, days off and weeks and uh, we'll see how long i take <laughs> off but just take some time off with my family spend yeah. uh, really focus on spending time with my family my my older brother i've barely seen seen him for the last year pretty much uh, and friends and all that at first uh, just kind of settle down uh, and then then I'll take it from there maybe maybe go on a vacation somewhere in Europe uh, we'll see if I do that and then just uh, yeah even if it's uh, if it's off from the hockey it's it's a lot of time uh, you gotta you gotta put down on the off season so um, obviously I have dev camp coming up too this summer so yeah. going all over to Ottawa for for a quick little uh, break there and yeah, I don't have too many plans right now. I'm just trying to take it as it comes a little bit, uh, okay. especially now uh, since you have so many plans and, and, and all that during the season. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to fly by either way. So uh. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's... Yeah, in a short little time, we're back here. Yeah, uh, we will be, and Oscar Pedersen will uh, be here or in Ottawa, depending on uh, a camp, etc. Uh, thanks for the time, man. It was a pleasure to watch you make your North American debut, and looking forward to next season. Thank you very much. 